Hello, welcome back. I'm Kasia Madeira. You're watching Impact from the BBC. Now, people displaced by floods in northern India are growing increasingly fearful after China stopped sharing vital data for a major river that crosses the border. Residents in Assam state say that frequent flooding from the vast Brahmaputra River, which starts in China but flows through India and through to Bangladesh, is becoming more dangerous. Navin Singh Katka reports from Assam. The Brahmaputra River is northeast India's lifeline. It's almost 3,000 kilometers long and 100 million people depend on it as a resource across China, India and Bangladesh. But it also wreaks havoc nearly every flood season in Assam. Nearly 300 people died just this year after major flooding. That is where my village was. I have been displaced five times because of floods on the river. I don't know how long I'll be able to live in this village now. My life has become so miserable because of this river. But the problem involves not just the scale of the vast river, but the geopolitics of the region as both China and India battle to harness its power. This mighty river Brahmaputra, it looks calm for now, but this is not how it is during floods. Its level reaches above those banks and tens of thousands of villages in Assam get flooded. So, how much water is coming down from China in the north where this river originates is of vital information. China, where the river's source is located, has stopped sharing river data with India. Beijing said its hydrological stations, which monitor the flow of water, need to be repaired. But China still continues to provide data on the Brahmaputra River to another downstream country, Bangladesh. The Indian authorities are concerned, and Chinese authorities have refused to comment on whether there were plans to start sharing data with India again. We are very worried. Earlier, we used to have one or two waves of floods during monsoon, but this time, when China did not provide the data, we had a third and fourth round of floods, even without rainfall in the upstream parts of the river. We have asked the central government to speak to China so that we get the hydrological data. China and India have been at odds in recent years. And now, the Brahmaputra appears to be the latest issue keeping their diplomatic relationship in troubled waters. Vincent Kadka, BBC News, Assam.